our Father who art in heaven, Nanyin Kevile Liwe, Kahagedin Song, that your name may be hallowed by men, that we may bow at the mention of it, that we may offer every glory unto thee, that we may offer you every adoration and adulation, because there is none like thee. You fight our battles for us every blessed day. You demonstrate through your kindness and your everlasting mercy that you are our Lord, our God, and our Creator. This evening we offer these your children unto thee all over this very planet that you created. They are listening across the entire 24 time zones on this very planet where they inhabit. They are listening to your gospel this very evening, this gospel of redemption, a gospel of hope, a gospel of restoration, a gospel of renewal, this very gospel of freedom, this very gospel of emancipation as only you ordained that this very gospel must be preached that mankind may be set free from the eternal damnation of the creation of the British. My goodness me, I want to remain in the spirit because we must worship heaven we answer your name O lord of hosts everything about us is designed to offer glory unto thee we have atoned for our sins last year this very year we have not only atoned for our sins we have spilled we have shed blood they have shed our blood we have let our sacrifice be made unto thee even on the 30th of august as we are being felled by the bullets of the enemy by the workers of iniquity and of darkness we remain very strong today to beckon upon thee to ask you for your mercy and for your grace to ensure that your kingdom is restored upon the face of the earth that you can bring your healing hand to bear upon the life of those of them that you created for one singular purpose and that purpose alone which is to worship you in truth and in every honesty is there any way that we have erred is there any way that our ancestors may have sinned we confess before a congregation of the whole of humanity to ask you O oh lord of hosts to have mercy upon us you must have mercy upon us we have suffered enough we have been subjugated enough we have been tortured enough we have been imprisoned enough we did not do these people anything our only crime is to answer your name our only crime is to be born your children our only crime is to excel at everything that we place our hands into our only crime is to exhibit your glory and your blessing which manifestedly is upon our lives every blessed day that is why they want to kill us that is why the British want to join those of them who don't know you to destroy your creation and your inheritance. You will not allow shame to befall your name. You will not allow the enemies to triumph over the lives of your children because you created us to exist, to worship, to honor, and to praise you. That is exactly what we are going to do when this Biafra comes. It will come in truth and in every honesty. Because we remain every blessed day. Chukwabiyama believe whiter than white and whiter than snow. Is there any way that we have sinned that you cannot forgive us our trespasses? To enable us to fulfill your own word which was spoken thousands of years ago. That instead of what you promised not to come to pass that heaven and earth will cease to exist you opened your mouth to bless mankind to the coming of Yahweh Heshua, who came here and said let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven 
Those words can never be in vain because they are anchored upon your holiness and your magnificence. That is why in the end we know that Biafra will come, that these children that we have given birth to all over the world and their children and their children and their children as long as they give birth to them and they are Biafrans, they will worship you in truth and honesty through this very work we are doing mankind will come to understand you let your miracle be wrought in our lives let us witness and behold your magnificence your holiness your mystery and your grace under our command O oh lord of hosts we call upon you we call upon you to heal we call upon you to provide succor to those of them who are inconsolable. We ask you to come and strengthen those who are weak. We ask you to restore hope where there is hopelessness. We ask you for inclusion where there is destitution. We ask you for one brotherhood, one camaraderie, one bone, one blood, and one flesh of your children. The Ephix and the Bibios, the Ison, the Shekiri, the Isobos, and also those of them from Isoko. We are traveling all the way to the lands of Igala. We are moving. Moving on from there to Idoma, to Igede, to the territories of the Igbo land, all these places we dedicate unto thee, all these lands of yours, we ask you to cover it with your mercy, because Biafra will come, and when it does, we will dance on the streets i'm telling you by the time that we are done humanity will think that we are mad we are drunk in your glory and rightfully so because your kingdom will come to rest upon this very earth that very kingdom is the unadulterated non-negotiable sovereignty of the republic of biafra that your will may be fulfilled in our time all these we pray, all these we ask for, in no other name apart from that name that belongs to you. I had a sosine bige birone bige bige. Ise, Ise, Ise. Special dedication to the gallant heroes of the Nigerian Biafra War and IPM families all over the world. I remember the Nigerian Biafra War mm -hmm. in the thickness of the Biafra genocide. Hey, from my river to punish him up to life. Ah, uh, let the great Biafra know me to fight. And they were singing out.
Ali, Ali, Nande Kama, Isanada Savior. Biafran's Got Talent exclusive. After this heavy rain, heavy rain, please let the sun rise. Our lives are in danger, siblings and all that. All day long, we have been ruled by strangers. I know you can feel our anguish, but don't let us perish in the hands of our enemies. enemies. thinking 
you speak. You just don't speak except you are thinking. And if there is anybody who speaks without thinking, there is more hope for a fool than that person. Whether they thought you were meticulously constructed, analyzed before you speak, but there is that aspect of it that cannot be overruled. You must have thought what you are saying. It could not be immediately. You must have thought about it hours before that time, even days before that time. And so when the opportunity comes, it's easy for you to express everything. You see, when somebody just come out and attack you, just for no reason, it is because they've been thinking about that attack. They've been setting that trap for you, waiting for you. They are waiting for you. And the moment you make that mistake to fall into their trap, they will wish hell against you. That is because they've been thinking about it. They were just waiting for the right time. And if you can think it, you will see it. And if you can see it, it will be made manifest. There are stages in life which lead to the creation or manifestation. This process starts with thought. And this thought progresses into words. And finally manifests through our action. In other words, what people think about you is very important that you find out as it is going to need you to find out what they are going to do to you next and there are some people that just don't have any reason to quarry them but when they make certain mistakes in my life i push them back to where from where they are coming because i know what they think and because i know what they think i know what they are going to say next and because I know what they are going to say next, I know what their action will be next. And so I don't wait for them to kill me. I do not wait for them to say what they want to say. I do not want them to bring me down before I realize, no, I get ready for them. And so this morning, it is very important that we begin to ask ourselves, what has Nigeria been thinking about you as a Biafra? Honestly, what has Nigeria been thinking about you as a Biafra? When I look at the people who are homo sapiens and see the way they behave, I know what they think about you. I know what they think about us. And certainly I know what they will do. Since I was born to this very moment, I have never seen the Western media talk about the good of black people. And then sometimes I begin to wonder, do you think the black will ever be free? They are not thinking this way because they are the perpetrators of this evil. I have never seen Western media promote or project the image of the black man in a positive light. It broke my heart this morning that one of the uh, videos I went through was BBC. Eye for Africa. And what did BBC see in Africa? The woman who became a chakwando, a karate, a sport woman. Not because she was motivated, not because she loves sports, but because she was raped at the age of eight years. And that is to turn the black woman against the black man. The black man raped her and then she become a sport warrior. This is what they think about us. They soon speak it and they do it. It brings us down to where we are starting off from this morning. The so-called Nigeria. What do they think about you? It's just a simple question. You see, you have uh, our sir, what does full and think about you? Because Fulani are the demon who is holding this air called Nigeria. British government are the demon that is sustaining the air called. The question you should ask yourself today is that as a full Aousa man, what do the air, the zoo called Nigeria, think about you? As a Biro man, as a Nupi man, as a Yoruba man that you are, dying in Sawa, Nigeria, what does Nigeria think about you? As a Biafran, 419 Biafran, Selling off your people because you want to be politically relevant. What does Nigeria say about you? Of course, we in IPOB, we know what Nigeria thinks about us. We know what they are going to do next. And we are ready for them. And now maybe you begin to understand where we are coming from in order to appreciate where we are going to learn this morning. There is a video online. It's, it's quite, it has been there for some time now. And this time I look at this video. 
I, I, I just see certain things, certain truths that cannot be overlooked at. So that when you see you are in Nigeria, you should be able to understand how these people see you, what they are thinking about you. There is a place called Halu Chamber. In this Halu Chamber, members of the House of Rep were busy showcasing their wife. They were busy in, in a hollow chair by a place where normal human beings are supposed to reason. A mark law that will benefit the people. A mark law that will make the land to be developed. In your whole hollow chamber. This is what they think about you. That is what led to whatever they are saying. Mr. Speaker, I would like to let you know that with me today here are my four respected wives. Halima can stand up, please. Oh. One. Uma, stand up. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. These four wives you have seen have produced 27 kids for me. And I'm still counting. I'm still counting. I must bring to the knowledge. Can anybody tell me that Nigerian lawmakers are different from the album somewhere in Uju Eleba? Under the bridge, Uju Eleba. Can you tell me now as a Nigerian listening to me? You know, you people's problem is, oh, they insult people, but God will punish all of you. Can you tell me that Nigerian lawmakers who are showcasing their wife and their children in the hollow chamber, imagine Donald Trump. Imagine American lawmakers coming up to tell them how many wives they have. This is because of what they think about you. Can you tell me the difference between those Yoruba who wonder who should be Saleh or who should UK? Compare them with your lawmakers in Nigeria. But all these things are because of what they think about you. They think you are a stupid person. They think you are hopeless. Forget about those your PhD. Forget about those your fake exposure. This fool, this stout who are in the corridor of power because that is exactly how British government wanted. They think you are stupid. Look at them. They come to make law. They are showcasing their heart. It's a warrior, woman warrior. Because this is what they think about us. Edge of this house, a little anecdote. What you told me some time ago. You told me it was getting late. No, don't beg me. <laughs> you told me it was getting late around seven o'clock, and there were many children playing in front of your house in Kano, in your compound. About nine, eight, nine. And you got worried and you went out. And you told the children. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What are you doing now? Is this time of that you people should go home? Go to your homes. And one of them said to you, Haba Baba, this is my house. And now I hope you understand what the other idiot senator is telling him. The man that is boasting he has four wives, 27 children. He don't even know his children. Hey, some, somebody that does not know his children. Can you tell me how you want to know your children? You should know how these people think and what they think about you. And maybe you will begin to understand why we come here and we say thunder will fire all of you and God will punish all of you one Nigerian is. Somebody who don't even know his children. He came back at night and met his children playing outside. He started chasing them. Go home, it's night, it's night. That is what the other idiot senator is trying to tell him. But all that drunkard are there smiling. <laughs> they are your lawmaker. Do you know how many billions that have been voted or that have been released for such program to be heard? But all these things boil down to one thing. They do, what do they, it's all about what do they think about you. This is what they have been thinking about you. They don't give a bluff about who you are. What I think they is here to do is to expose all of them. It really doesn't matter. Those who are the, are the corridor of power in Nigeria, they think less about you. And it is time. You need to find out what they think about you. In other words, what people think about you is very important. That you find out. As it is going to lead you to find out what they are going to do next. Honestly, some people say I don't care what they say. You better don't care what they say when you have nothing to do with them. Because if I don't have anything to do with you, whatever you like, see, or do, it doesn't concern me. But when I have something to do with you, please, what you see concerns me. If I have nothing to do with Nigeria, what they say doesn't concern me. 
because what they will do will never get close to me. But I found myself in a, an enclave. In zoo telling me I'm in Nigeria and I saw not in Nigeria. And so what they think about me is very important. You proud Nigerians. There are those that we are your, your senator. One of them don't even know his children. This is how bad it can be. He don't recognize his children. He came back from club midnight and saw his children outside. He started chasing them. Oh, you children, go home. It's late. It's late. And one of the sons said, ah, Daddy, we are your children now. A man that cannot recognize his own children. And he's telling you he's 17 oh, or he's 27 oh. How does he even know he's the one who pregnant all of them? And he's working very hard on top of bed. Is it not the same thing that Buhari went to diaspora and tell them his wife belonged to other room? His wife belonged to other room. If these people as old as they are can be thinking this about you, their thought is not how to develop Nigeria. Their thought is not how to give you medical health facility. Of course, we will pay for it. Their thought is not to give you good road. Their thought is not for you to become human being. What are the thoughts? You should know. One of the greatest confidence assurance any believer have is that God say, I know the thought I have for you. They are thought of good and not evil. Then I may give you your expected end. So what are the thoughts of Nigeria for all of you? What are the thoughts of Fulani and British government for all the prisoners in Nigeria? When I listen to the discussion of some of Nigerian lawmakers, like we have just listened to, I see how they value us, how they evaluate us. And so I think it is important we begin to ask ourselves some of these following questions, as they will help us to reevaluate our stand and understand what it is there for us as a people who have found themselves in Nigeria. I want you to ask yourself what were they thinking when they created Boko Haram? If anybody is still fine looking for how Buku Haram started, Nigeria government created Buku Haram with the help of President Obama, former president of America, to chase good luck out of office. You heard me well. I'm not putting British government because British government are known all over the world for funding terrorists. The world know U.S. supports terrorists more than anything. And so these are, they are not concerned to me, but we are looking at Buku Haram. The people who formed Buku Haram, what were they thinking about you? President Obama came to American taxpayers' money, came to Nigeria with one they are stealing, collaborated with British government from Boko Haram just to make sure that the government of good luck in Jonathan, it tarnished, they tarnished its image and chased him out of office, which Obama succeeded in doing. And I hope he's enjoying his Buhari. So those people who formed Boko Haram, ask yourself, what were they thinking? Do they bring Boko Haram to take us to Allah? But, but who, who is the uh, worshipper of Allah here? Of course, Facebook has started, but we are here. We are not going anywhere. So the, the point is that who, 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 why did they form Boko Haram? What were they thinking about you? Oh, let us organize some group of people. We chase good luck out of office. And then after chasing good luck out of office, then they now hold those boys and silence them. Is that not what led Boko Haram to what it is today? They have finished their job, but they are not backing down, they are not going anywhere. They need more. They want more. And so, what else are you going to do? What else are you going to do? But people must understand that they have intention. There is something they were thinking. The question is, what are they thinking? What are they thinking? What are they thinking? Those who create Boko Haram, what are they thinking about you? you they, are, they are arranging some boys. They will used to harass you and intimidate you. Now those boys are harassing and intimidating them. Is God not wonderful? So when you say, oh, this is our Nigerian leaders, oh, this is our... You should ask yourself this genuine question. What were they thinking about you? When they mounted checking point every corner in our in Biafra land. More than half of Nigerian military personnel are in Afari Beku, in the house of our leader Mazen and the Kano. And they are running from Sabisa Forest. 
they are running from Boko Haram they created. And now the people in Omaha, what are they thinking? Oh, Fulani Army, Janja with Fulani Army, none of them. They come to protect Omaha people. What is their thought? What are they thinking? When those Nigerian Janja with Fulani terrorists, Boko Haram, are everywhere in Omaha, ask yourself this question Omaha, Fali Beku people, what are they to do? If you are not able to find out what they are thinking about you, they are going to slaughter all of you. But of course, we dare them. Everywhere in Biafra land, they are mounting checking point. What are they thinking? Some of you think they want to protect you from courtes. They are the courtes. No, they want to protect you from kidnapper. They are the kidnapper. Oh, they are here to safeguard your land. But they are the one who has turned your land into a theater of war and have dejured you. If you don't know what they are thinking, you will be praising those people who are killing you. That's your safe in simple ways. Why all the checking points in Boronu? There is no single checking point. The distance between Abuja to Kano or Kaduna is more than the distance from Edu State down to River State. But there is no single checking point. If you see any Boko Haram army or police on the highway, they are packing and relaxing, chilling out with Coca Cola. But just cross Edu State, you will know Nigerian police army, all of them are out. They are criminal, they are kidnapper, they are the arm robber, they are the Oli, they are the Barawu, they are everything imaginable. And if they are this thing I have rightly said, and they are everywhere, what are they doing? To those of you in Afari Beku now, you see them parading with armor tanker. They say, no, we are showing our force. We want to make sure no criminal here. Who is the criminal? This is what you should ask yourself. What were the Nigerian state thinking? When they close the border for importation of food, and the same border they open it for all the Fulani all over Africa to come in. Most of you have forgotten that Nigeria is a visaless country, open border for all. They want everybody to come into Nigeria and become Nigerian citizen. Free. All you need to do is carry cow to become a first can citizen. But they don't want food to come in. Don't you think what are they what are what are they thinking? They think you are stupid, they think you are foolish. They have to kill Fulani, have to kill Biron people. Another Fulani in West Africa will take over uh, Biron people land. Fulani have to kill Gwari people. They will use other Fulani in West Africa to destroy Gwari people and take over Abuja. Fulani will kill Yoruba, and that is why Yoruba form a Motekon. So they close borders so that hungry will kill all of you. And open the same border so that their own people can come in, their own Fulani can come in and kill you. What were they thinking? No, what do you think they were thinking when they say oh, everybody can come to Nigeria without visa? What do you think Nigeria were thinking the day they wake up and say they want to uh, pass a hate speech bill? Because they don't love insult or they, they insult key person. Does insult tear cloth? This sort don't tear cloth. But of course, it helps us to reveal who you really are, your true nature. You think they love you? Oh, our leader, one of his brokers. He said in the 80s, they were pampering black people. Oh, black is beautiful, black is beautiful. All the whole black is beautiful. Where did he lead you to? You don't need pamper. You, we, you need for us to tell you you are a chimpanzee and rightfully so you are. You come out here, we tell you you are a monkey, rightfully you are. Not because they said, because we said so. And your action endorses it. When I tell you Nigerian senators are all out and hooligans, somebody say no, but their actions prove it. Because I do not know for the life of man why somebody will say supposedly a hello chamber, a lawmaker, trying to exhibit his uh, foolishness before the global community. He don't even know his children. His fellow drunk in the hello chamber told him, oh God, remember the story you told me. That he didn't even remember your children. Again, you entered your house and you saw your children at home midnight. You start chasing them to go. 27 children. What a world. And these are the lawmakers who and somebody's going to tell you, you know, according to the constitution of Nigeria, he, 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 who is in Nigeria? What are they thinking about you? What were they thinking about you when they deliberately shut down seaport in our land? Go back to history. Mongo Park entered through Calabar port. Mary Slesso entered through Calabar port. Including Samuel Ajayi Crowder. All of them entered through Calabar port. There is a main ancestors for hundreds of years have been entering through Calabar port. Why did they shut it down? What were they thinking? Oh, so that big ship will not flash water inside the upland abbey. But 
of course you adapt. You want us to say you are smart. And you can tell us, oh, we are Calabria. Uh, uh, the, the smoke coming from the sheep is polluting our land. So we don't want to see again. Is that what you are telling me? That all the pipeline, all your refinery pipeline, gas fuel stations all over Biafra land are now better off than, 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 than the sheep. Think about it. Try to find out what were they thinking. Oh, but a couple of airports is temporarily shut down. We want to reconnect the electric bulb there. What were they thinking? Yes, Enugu is temporarily locked down. We will do it before it start. What were they thinking? The, our land is not strong for airports. During the war, men built airports. During the war, men built planes. Here in Biafra land, find out what were they thinking when they shut down the seaport. What were they thinking when they shut down our airport and seaport? But I can tell you what they are thinking. We will frustrate these people. We will deal with them in Nigeria. This is what they are thinking. He said in Joma, we will show him that oil in Bayasa belong to Jigawa. You think they don't know what they are saying? Don't you understand the figure of speech you use there? You can come from Bayasa and be yapping. We also here, we also here. You are idiot because they are using it to develop another place. They flag off project in Kano and Kaduna, fly over us everywhere, round about everywhere. Then there are some idiots there who will tell you, oh, we are not eating cucumber. Bayasa State is doing well in plantation of cucumber. But you won't understand. When you are doing what you are doing, they are passing the law. Let them do anything. If you go man like let them travel the whole world, they will never have a port. We must search them with them. when they go out, we will search them. When they are coming in, we will search them. Is that not what Europa and Aosa are doing? And somebody say, No, 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 don't say it. Thunder will fire all of you. To find out what they were thinking. That day they say. They, we will never allow Biafra to have any international airport. This is what they were thinking. Let me help you see the picture clearly. Europa and our whole south one Nigeria. They went inside and said, Don't worry, if Iboma is showing sense, Abi, he is the highest traveler, Abi. We will teach them lesson. We must search him when he's going out, and we must search him when he's coming back. Can you land in your village? You that is saying, Don't cause Yoruba, don't cause our south Fulani, don't cause British government. Can you land in your village? Sometimes it's preferable to land in Ghana or Kutunu to be able to come home. But they will still be on the road to check you. They have concluded. This is what they are thinking. And so you will never have this airport. Hey, they are importer and exporter. Do you know what they were thinking? We must search your container. Today now, I also have become importer and exporter without leaving uh, the zoo called Nigeria. Why? It's your container they are seizing. When you enter, you think they love you. Hey, Alhaji, Alhaji, <laughs> Alhaji, yes. Alhaji say yes. How many containers I bring here? Cool. He said, Alhaji, it's only 30. Business is not too good. Alhaji say, hey, 30. Alhaji will talk to the other full animal. He said, that 30 will own 25. And then the next thing, Alhaji will say, oh, this container, something is wrong somewhere. You have to come back. Come today, come tomorrow. One month, you won't clear that container. By the time they are done with you one year, if they even give you one, you will go to Yoruba church and give thanksgiving. Oh, I no get sense. Oh, thank God, do I brought 50 containers. Hey, God, they seized, but they left one for me. At least I was able to sell it, and then I now use the money to return back. They are waiting for you. If you know what they are thinking about you, you will know what they are going to do next. That is why here in IPOB, we know what they are thinking about us. We know what they are going to do next, and we are waiting for them. You are our concern. Because you can't see clearly. Ask yourself a question. What was Adeboye thinking when he went to lead a uh, peaceful walk without saying a word? And he put on Nigerian flag. It's supposed to be morning, putting on black. What was he thinking? Go and find out. You will hate yourself if you are worshipping in Yoruba church this morning. You will hate yourself. What was he thinking? We have their video. We have their video. If you hear was to the TV station, I'll be playing the video for you. How they are protesting again, good luck. Where is Tunde Bakari, that idiot? Every morning, all these people you call intellectual, they will gather in Ojota bus stop. With black card. Good luck, resign, good luck, resign. You can't do loss, you can't do loss. No, they are not talking again. They are not doing mood protest. And they are, what were you thinking? 
what were they thinking when they deliberately what were they thinking when they made the head of every government parasitator to be Fulani? This is a question Yoruba should ask themselves. This is a question Aosa should ask themselves. This is a question Biron, Niger Delta, Upland, the River and Bottom Line. What do you think they were thinking when they remove one here? Everywhere Boko Haram, Fulani. Nigerian Army, Fulani. Nigerian police, Fulani. Nigerian kidnapper, Fulani. Nigerian president, Fulani. Nigerian idiot, Fulani. Everywhere they, even up to the highest idiot, Fulani. Every position, good or bad, Fulani. What do you think they were, they were, they were, they were thinking? They, they love one Nigeria. They are helping to protect us. Is right? I want you to go and check all the record now. Nigerian highest monkey, Fulani. Nigerian most intelligent, Fulani. Nigerian most hopeless, Fulani. Nigerian Boko Haram, Fulani. Nigerian Luta, Fulani. Everywhere they are in charge. What do you think they were thinking? What do you think they were thinking? What do you think they were thinking? When they see all this evil happening and they say nothing about it. A lot of atrocities going on in Nigeria. But they don't say anything about it. They see the evil everywhere. They don't say anything. They are just displaying their wife. Yes, the honorable, honorable. You can see, I come here with my four respectable wife. And those women are not ashamed. Your husband is bringing you to showcase you. And you are there, uh, you, you coming up. Oh, God. Oh, God. This year alone, only January alone, over 320 Christians have been slaughtered. What are you thinking? Only January, only month of January. If 300 Christians have been killed in Nigeria in January alone, check it how many per day. Which means 30 divided by 300. I know it's more than that. So you should know how many Christians that have been sacrificed every day. And your GO, he didn't come out and say, enough of it is enough. How can you kill Mr. Tunde? How can you kill Mr. Ikechuku? How can you kill this person? How can you keep this person? We demand them to be brought to justice. This cannot continue in our land. Christians will no longer keep quiet. They keep they shut up. And you are the holy protest. No, he's doing holy protest. Your question is, what are they thinking in their hearts? Is doing holy protest, and uh, the, the other ones are killing you. Holy killing, it is, it's, although it's equivalent, holy killing to holy protest. The Muslim kill you as a Christian, holy, it is holy unto Allah. And then the, the four one my pastor will, will mourn you, holy morning. If you are unable to understand all they are thinking about you. You will not be able to understand the next line of action as this their thought and action is what will really design your tomorrow. If you can understand their thought and checkmate them, that is the only true time that your future can be guaranteed. The thought and intention of the people who create Nigeria, who handle one Nigeria, it's never for any of you to see good. Both the children of the Luther and the Luthers, all of them will fall. They will be hunted down. Both the children of the poor and the miserable people will not be spared. They place a pendulum in place. A pendulum that the more you try to rectify or correct the problem, it creates more chaos. If you are sincere enough to tell yourself the truth, you will see that technology wise or otherwise, Nigeria has never progressed positively in any sector. On daily basis, they go backward. That is because that is how the creator of the zoo called Nigeria wants it to be. And those slaves who found themselves in the zoo did not understand this. And so when you see idiot like Kenneth to think among other useless animals, who oh, our Nigeria is good, we are going to work our Nigeria very healthy. You ask them why is it that there is no single federal government present in the whole of Southeast? Why is it that the only federal government present in South South is all your pipeline, which you are killing yourself to be get man? Do you know their thought? Their thought for you is that you see evil and you will die miserably. Without ordinary headache, we kill you.
You don't know people in America don't suffer typhoid fever or malaria fever. I doubt if any American child today know what is malaria. They can only read it in the book. May the Lord be with you. Reading from Biafran Scott Talents. is restored it is as simple as that you go to school in your thousand as a biafra you enter university they don't care for you they don't go to school because they know what they are thinking about you just go and study go and waste the next eight years or six years or four years in the university and come back and push you by road and when they tell you that they abandon okada have you thought what they are why they abandon okada and kekena pepe oh, they are trying to protect accident victim have Boko Haram not killed more people in Nigeria more than uh, Ukada accident? But you don't know what they are thinking. You don't, you don't bother to know. But we know this evil. We just can't contain this evil. This evil cannot continue. When they tell you they are Nigeria, this is our one Nigeria, we don't keep the one Nigeria, we are just, go and look at go and die in regret for the crime he has committed. His mind was that he's going to be giant of Africa. In less than one year after the war, he was removed by Buhari. Disgrace out of office while he was drinking wine in Uganda. What he thought, he never knew it would happen to his people today. I call upon billion people. Go and pray for forgiveness and deliver the next generation for Fulani headsmen. Because God once sold all of you to Fulani. He never knew British government has a different thought. He never knew Fulani were here for another purpose. And those of you glamouring, oh, we're going to build our one Nigeria, we're going to repair our one Nigeria. Have you considered their thought? And each time we wake up as Christians and we know, he said, I know the thought I have for you. They are thought of good and not evil, that I may give you your expected end. We know also that there are people who are over our life, taskmasters. They have said to us, we know the thought we have for you. We will deal with you inside one, this one, Nigeria. You will go to school and you will not be employed. You can have all you will not know how cool all you look like. We know the thought we have for you. If you set up any security to defend your land, we will call you terrorists. You will never be respected. You will never be honored. We know the thought we have for you. And you are playing it out. And we are clapping our hands. You know, we are going to pray to the Lord and the Lord is going to intervene. Was that how you are praying to the, the Lord to intervene in America? If it were to be by prayer, I can assure you that Nigeria will be the best country in the world. A country where pastors come out and tell you, I'm going to build, Oye Depo have told you in short, he's going to build 10,000 branches of Winners Chapel to manufacture more idiots. Because the church has just been producing idiots without apology. And so when he tell you, do you know the intent of his heart? On Oye Depo school, can any of your children attend it except you are a politician stealing from Nigerian coffer? 
Hey, he's going to win the Nigeria for Jesus Christ. But Jesus Christ is blessing America, blessing Dubai, blessing British government, all the whole colonial master. Jesus is blessing all of them. But you people, they are feeding on their misery. It looks to me he has gone out of there. Have you considered their thought and action? Don't deceive yourself. We know what these people are thinking. And so we know their next line of action. We are only being ready for them. From the abundance of the heart does the mouth speak. You are a from anywhere. You are still becoming intellectual. You, you are think you don't you are not able to perceive what is coming. May the Lord be with you. That's the highest I can say to you. It will get to you. It will get to you. But don't wait until that time. One thing we have made up our mind is that if we must die because of this struggle, we will decide how it's going to end. No idiot will tell us how it's going to end. We will tell you. Look right the family closer to you and join. We just made one promise. Our mission is simple. Divide Nigeria. Let the indigenous people be free. Because in the next 10 years, there will be no Gwari man. Fulani will take over Gwari land. They claim in Abuja already. Where are Gwari people? Biron people will be dead. Divide Nigeria. Satan Kaduna will be dead. Yoruba will be dead. Everybody will be dead. Because British government has armed Fulani to kill everybody. But of course, they can't stop Biafra. Because we have redefined our stand. Our mission is simple. Destroy Nigeria and free the indigenous people. Send us your name, your phone number, your location on our WhatsApp line. We will connect you to the nearest coordinator. And that WhatsApp line is 070-815-45642. Our WhatsApp line is 070-815-45642. Our direct line is 081-221-52971. Our direct line, I repeat again, is 081-221-52971. And the special number for the female is 081-288-58614. Special number for the female, 081-288-58614. And of course, at this moment, our lines are open. Call our WhatsApp, are you still there? Yes, sir. Martin, they will. Good afternoon from here. They will. I'm Oyeka Chikali from Malaysia. Uh, I'm from Umaya province. Yes, uh, Mazi, sometimes when I call in uh, on your program, I became confused. I be, I lost, or I don't know what to say anymore. Because I think uh, sometimes you always say our people, especially our people, from the, our Biafran, uh, people from the South, South, and the so-called Southeast, and all that. Uh, most of them always, when you meet them online, they'll say, oh, you know, talk, we have been talking, we have been talking. My reply to them is very soon, we will be, we'll be crying, we we'll, we'll, we'll say we are, we are always shooting, shooting, shooting. Not only talking, talking. Now, what I'm trying to say is that uh, you made a statement about uh, Bak uh, Chumbe Bakari and the pastors. I don't even know. It's just, it just caught my attention. I have to review the, the suit the pastor, the uh, redeemed pastor was wearing green, white, green. This is to tell you, this send a message to our people to know that I begin to believe that he's, he's, will dressing, be the last he's dressing in our language is simple. The message is clear. That is what he's just telling us. His message is very He's simple. He's just telling Nigerians, you know, don't enter one chance. Because I have to go and review the, the, the picture of what he was hearing. And I know oh, this is this is that is that is this, is this how this man wants to play with the intelligence of uh, our our people from the because I know that uh, it's evil people that make up all these churches that they that today you are hearing uh, all these churches that you are hearing the team and all the days our people all over the world is making it happen. Yoruba so I don't have much to say. Now, just of, of course, of course, of course, more than I begin to believe. But what I have to say is that uh, I don't have much to say. Let our people hear this gospel, embrace it, and know what they need uh, to do the needful. Yes, I know it's not, it's very, it's very, it's very difficult. Common sense is not easy. It's not cheap. It's something that you just have to, by the grace of God, you have it. So I don't have much to say. I want to thank you. May God bless you, bless your family, bless IPOP all over the world. Also bless our leader. Uh, thank you from here. Thank you very much. Bye. It is simple. There is no father that will have a son. And you see your son growing up in a very stupid way. And you are, you are pampering your son. You get angry and you use the rod. We can never hate Biafrance. 
Do you know this brother, this people close? It's because of uh, their friends that made them to close this brother and see them they close. Because they say that if they close this brother, so that the Jafran people will not see food, especially the people, they will not see food to be eating. Now when you want to get the Jafran people, make sure that they don't have food, so that they will be weak in fighting or something like that. The one Jafran people, they have food. They will like to fight more than 100 years without giving up. But when you want to get them, don't give them food. That's why this brother you see them close. Then I said, and another one, like me, this is a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit they are all right, they are all right, they are all right, they are all right, they are all right. And another one is this. This uh, effort is seen that we will talk. If you see how these people used to protect people in effort, if you see how these people are protecting people in effort, even if they didn't need you, I know they said that to you, I used to, I used to say that to you. Because when you take the killer, they give you to buy something to do this thing. It's problem in this matter. If, if, if you are Igbo man, you, if you are Igbo man, you want to know how Nigerian function, change your change your name and answer your Yoruba in your passport. So you know that you are not in the same country with Yoruba man. Change your name as Igbo man to Yoruba name and travel. So that you know that Nigerian embassy used to buy mineral for Nigerians traveling abroad. There is one day, there is one day I call in uh, in airport. Why I call in airport? There is one person. He's a different, he's a different man. But he showed me that rock on that day in airport. I'm telling you the truth. If you see, not, I didn't tell anything, you know. But that is that man. He showed growth on me. Who do you say that they need me to go? They tell him that I can't remember that. That could be compared to the customer, that's an evil man. Even if he found me from outside to go and check my box, I just opened my box there and said there's nothing in there. What are you telling me? You don't see the everything, I just opened my box, but I don't see that nothing is there. Even if the man sees why I'm saying that they want that, that's the way they want to have this outside people, they want to, to, to collect from me. Because I don't need to tell them that I don't have money. But I don't have that money that they are checking me or something like that. So the man told me to, because he is the controller of that place, he told me to go. I started crying. I called that man's number. When I called that, I called him. Tell him to can I bring Gary for him. He said we don't want. And another day, I got him for this man. The time I went to airport, I didn't see him. And one day I see him, I say, I'm looking for you. So what you have done to me? He didn't collect sushi because of his divorce. He showed for me. Because if you collect that money from me, I won't be happy. But he showed me that work. Like that our brother that said that they arrested uh, many people in this thing. They said that you know people will pay for three thousand naira. The Yoruba people and the outer people will pay for two thousand naira. But when you come back, you see our people that when they are holding them, they ask them what is the problem. He said that they collected fifty thousand from others. But he, he said that did you have that two thousand? He collected that two thousand. He said that he said him, they said that he knew the tribalism or something like that. If you see this people, what they are doing in airport, you regret yourself. That's why I'm just bringing this topic. That's why I'm telling you to. So now, even if you are tired, then you say you say, how much do you have? You will declare that money. If you have money that costs that ten thousand dollars.
you need to you will share you will show them they cannot even get to pass you they will just pass you away this stuff for you for nigeria you will be there that money hey oh god tell you what i'm telling you the truth you need to get to the list so you will put your hand on your luggage it's true but now nigeria is 500 naira that's why we now everything money money what to do we have that everything If you see all these people who are living in the airport, they are all killing us. Killing us, I'm telling you. Oh, this is our time, people. Oh, 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 what's nothing that you will carry? Problem. Problem. Okay, now, look at this border they close. There is one now, man. He used to carry rice every week. This man is carrying rice passing border. He said that nobody will work with him. There is one uh, evil customer, evil customer. Go so and hold that, uh, hold that, uh, uh, the, the young someone that carry rice. He carry the rice to come and drop them. Do you know what these custom people, the young people, the trans people ask us? Who is the owner of the rice? Even if the man that holds the rice, he just throws his hand that watching that man that holding his rice. The young people ask me, who is the, who is the owner of the rice? They don't say that the man that holds the rice. They tell their customers to carry the rest and don't give that man back. That's why the customers carry this man back. But this is his ego. If you see the way they use the hero, and carry the rest in people's rights, you just cut, you will talk that if something is easy. If people rights, they are carrying with their cut. And even if you put the rights in your hand back, oh, 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 they will collect it. This customer, this is brother. This is brother. Please, brother. Oh, my God, so the most people will come and they move most people there. They say that if they throw the world border, that people in this the Republic, they will not eat. They are eating. They are not eating by the place of this uh, Nigeria people or oil. This Africa, we don't know why I eat. I have Africa. We have already had it. We have had it. Something. We need to... Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Kola on WhatsApp. Are you still there? Kola on WhatsApp. Kola on WhatsApp. Are you still there? You are mute. Kola on WhatsApp. You are mute. Kola on the line. Your name and where are you calling from? Oh, you're in the best. Good morning from here. Go ahead, please. あ、ジェプラハジ、ジェプラハジ、ジェプラハジ、ジェプラハジ、ジェプラハジ、ジェプラハジ、ジェプラハジ、ジェプラハジ、ジェプラハジ、ジェプラハジ、ジェプラハジ
There is nothing they can do about governors, senators, no matter who you are, say you are a leader in Biafra land, stay aside this minute because they are life is even in danger. There's nothing you can do about it. They have gathered us. They have surrendered us. They are everywhere. What else can we do? Our leader said this earlier before now. As I was thinking, I don't buy a British, a British, and I had nothing we can do alive for I would have to have an hour. But we all of you will use today to form a good day. Go and join any IPO that I do. That is the only savior you will have because that end is around the corner. Trump, there is nothing you can do about it. America is going to be a history without diaspora. China, don't bother yourself. The sickness you are passing through, marking for the war, and when you ask, it is going to go from there to Hong Kong. From Hong Kong, we are never in time. From your never in time. Down to America, that's nothing you can do about it. And it's coming to Nigeria within four or five days from today. Me and I got no more words. God damn, I will walk. I'm shut up, if I don't know. You might not just like that, yeah. Biafra must come. Biafra belongs to Tukoti Kadiama, the most high God. And the children of Tukoti Kadiama will occupy the land. So now, I need it. You're a Let's stand. Let's stand. Let's stand. Make sure today you are ready and set to stay on your own. I want that the only struggle you will have is my leader. For you to get your last back. So now, I need you can hide your many other things. Go down the road again. You people are around our leaders. Ah, do you know my band? I will. My band don't know how much you make. My band I will. Only a bunch of you know. To go to church and say that hello, I will have in their heart to make my name great. Oh, they get very careful, Adida. Can you see that for a? To go to church and go to church and say that I'm the guy. Go to church and go. So there are my son people, so who go to Karaka, I go to the back. So there are children of God, so there are tiny rules, so so tiny, but who get to the back? But I are in no bula, but I go to the road, 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 to where you come from. That is the other day. Full of me. Full of me. Let me tell you the deep respect. Because you cannot take the land of Yoruba. Hey, for Chirila. You cannot take the land of Piafra. You want to come, come, shut up, 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 Is from our mama, but right now I'm working from Angola. 
Bless you, my brother. Because every morning, before I go to my business, I'll drink the tea, the morning tea. And that morning tea is your program. Because whenever I had it, whenever I had the program, when I go to my business, I will feel so happy. Then the night when I come back again, I will eat the night food. The night in food is a program. They always give me joy. And I decide to order Biafra. Uh, my, my name, why I'm saying this thing is, uh, since I've started listening to the radio, uh, Biafra, since 2015, all these uh, churches, Yoruba church or whatever, I don't even like them again. Because of uh, when I hear the voice of our leader and other presenter in the radio Biafra, I will be so happy. May you cook a and bless our leader. Bless the deputy which is more for and all the whole presenter in the radio Biafra. What I know that Biafra will from us to get it in the name of Tuku Kikabiam. There's nobody who can stop us. And my brothers, I will always thank you every time you 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 make your program. You always announce people to come and join IPOB. You know, and our people are so stubborn that so many of them like to listen. You know, they like to answer their friend by mouth, but come out and participate. Come out and join their fellow brothers so that all of us can go hand and get this Biafra. They will turn it after after, just like here in Angola. So many of them here don't want Biafra, they don't want to come out and come and support with their little money they have. Either they wish the money to go and drink and do other things. The next time they tell that they are Biafra. You know, and when they should say, ah, the IPOV. But happy, I'm, I'm very happy today that. Everything that our leader is doing, we are seeing the result. Whatever thing that you say in Radio Biafra, we are seeing the result. We are learning every day. That is why I say every morning, I always do this thing. Because when I had the program in the morning, I when I go to my business, I will be so happy. I want to order Biafra. So what am I trying to say? Our God has opened your eye. The time has come. The time has come. Open your eye. Because when you open your eye and hear the Radio Biafra and, the, and, the, uh, and hear the news, but after our brother was saying, we uh, write your phone number and they say, you write your phone number, you direct you the, 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 wherever the country you are, the IPOV you will join. Like as I'm talking to you now, next week Monday, we are having our meeting. Every day, always said it, we have, we have a meeting next week Monday in Olubi restaurant. If you know that you are living here in Angola, you are living at uh, Afokombe, Kalimba Dodge, Gulf Dodge, Popular, come to meeting in Olubi restaurant. Everybody, most of the restaurant here in Angola. So what am I might try to say, we are expecting you next week Monday by four o'clock. Let us come and join hand. We've started our meeting since January. Because this year, nothing like uh, maybe Christmas or whatever. We start our meeting earlier as January. So this next week Monday, we are going to do our second meeting in a, in a month. So my brothers and sisters here in Angola, I'm expecting you. The worst part of it is are women here in Angola. They don't even care about IPOB. And we have a lot of women, some of our brothers who bring their wife here in Angola, but they don't even know what is IPOB. Even though their husband self is not serious, how much more they are their wife. I'm telling you nothing but the truth, my brother. We have a lot of women here in Angola, but none of them know what is uh, uh, IPOB or where they are doing their meeting. Both their husband, they don't even care. But they want to be afraid. I don't know how they be afraid will come when they are not coming to support. So we are expecting many of them here in Angola on Monday to come to, to come uh, meeting in Olubi restaurants. You may say, oh, I don't know where it's Olubi restaurant. You can call our, our, our coordinator, Mr. Onyeka, our national coordinator. The, 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 the number of the phone is uh, 925 um, 483830. I repeat again. 925 48 uh, 38 and the 30. That's our national You can call his number anywhere. You are still here in uh, Rwanda, in Angola. Call his number so they can come and participate in the meeting. Then, or you can call my own number. My name is Maz Uche. People don't hear Uche Biafra. That is what they call him here in Angola. You can call my number 945 392 541. I repeat again 945 
so that you can come to the meeting as we will be a strong man. That is where we are doing a meeting. Next week, Monday, we are expecting all the whole people to come. Thank you very much. Because this before we must get it. It's under us, not by sitting outside looking for maybe my own either. Oh, uh, my son, the car only he will get it. That tomorrow say we are Biafra. Come out and join. May you come up with my blessing, my brother. And I'm happy for the tea you are giving to us every morning. And also, my prayer this morning, all the whole hardcore, all over the whole world. May you come up with my blessing. Whatever you are doing in your life, you must get prosperity. And you people are living there in Biafra land. May God of Almighty continue to protect you for the hand work of the hand of a few man, uh, all those you people who feel our right. Our land. What I know that we must get our shower in the name of Chukukika Biama, I pray. Um, uh, thank you, Mazi. Kola on the line. God bless you in our days, the long and prosperous. You people will live to see their trials and beyond. In the name of Chukotika Diamond. I pray that the burial of our beloved parents and Fatim shall be a success. Tell that burial, that person shall die shamelessly. In the name of Chukotika Diamond, I have prayed. My dear, the thing they are doing to us. We know our enemies and we know they are not against us. The word of God even told us that the enemy has come to steal, to destroy. And that enemy is who? And that devil is who? Is Fulanese. The Fulanese are the animals that are brought into the world so that they will destroy humanity. Then the only part of it is that we in humanity allow them to use their power. They have no power, but it's we in humanity that is empowering them to continue to do it. Okay, look at the sabotage in their flat land. They are empowering Fulanese. They even you know, said a, a, a chief that stole the mandate of the people say that he will uh, uh, put them in his, uh, in his uh, uh, cabinet. Now, when he put all this more animal into his cabinet, what will happen? We he have a uh, mouth to speak against what they are doing. That is the problem. They thought that uh, because of money, they will sell their soul to devil. Then uh, they talk called the uh, Papa G.O. that is uh, directing himself, disgracing himself, fooling himself, teaching that he's fooling the whole world. They are all, all apathetic men. They deceive their, their congregation. And their congregation stupidly followed them out to come. Look at the whole uh, 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 guy that he has. But that thing will not save him any day if it's time for God to call him back. Okay, during the time of Jonathan, before he went to Erani, he announced his week. He said that we are going to... I was moving around with that trainer. Is that how to do a, a rally? Then what is the topic of his rally? If he knows something, what is the topic of his rally? He thought he would receive one. Don't know that God is higher than them. God will destroy all of them one after the other. God is putting them to shame. They don't even know what they are doing. They don't know. So I'm coming out there across all over the world. Please do that. We lost that caller, but we must continue. Call on WhatsApp, are you there? Yes, I'm here, Mazi. Good morning, Mazi. Go ahead, please. Yes, my name is Obi Mane Chibike, calling from the state of Israel. Mazi, thank you very much this morning. Mazi, uh, uh, such a very intelligent officer. It was now that you are saying this that I went back to the video of uh, Adeboye, and I really see that he was wearing green, white, green. The stripe on the neck of that his suit was white, and the suit was green. And he walked slowly without mentioning, saying anything, just carry a placard without saying anything. That, that's a, you rightly target a holy, a holy march or a prayer march. And he's not trying to tell us that he has protested. Maze, one more thing is that they think that they are fooling us. But one day, I think the children of Israelites, when they are in Egypt, they are enjoying. But a time comes when the Pharaoh that does not know Joseph arrives, the whole thing change. They think that they are fooling us. One day, the Boko Haram commander that will not know they will come and they will still suffer what the general masses are suffering today. The idea they have killed a, a, a cashier man, they did not do anything. One day you get to them. Recently, I think on Sunday, a, a, a suicide bomber went to, uh, to Wina Chapel to bomb there. And at the end of the day, they changed the name of this man and called him Samuel Nathaniel. 
his name now be called yeah. Jamaica Rosemary. But we know what they are thinking even before the area. Go ahead. Yeah, so what are they thinking when they change the name of this man and call him uh, Samuel Natani? Why where his real uh, name is Mohammed Nasir? If, if I tell you that guy has become the next senator in Nigeria, it will amaze you. Because what they do now is they put him in army, train him, then the next time he's a senator displaying how many wives he has. That is what they do. Yes. What is the, the kind of car they used to carry a suicide bomber? He used to say in an IPOB family meeting that, that they just come. They would carry the parade, the whole DSA, the whole jet fighter, but they use a car, carry him, petting him inside the car. This is the height of injustice we are experiencing in Nigeria. But one day, we surely come back to them. They will cry the last cry. And to other Christians in Nigeria, every day we talk this thing on Radio Biafra, but you people do not want to listen. You people keep on going to Yoruba church. They say that... You people read in the Bible that the blood of Jesus Christ was used to clean the sins of the world and bring salvation to human beings. It's like they want to use the blood of Christians in Nigeria to bring salvation to Nigerians. If you people need it like that, we will go by that. Your blood will bring salvation to all of us. Then we will enjoy it. So it's better you rise up now or they will use their blood to bring salvation. I think the blood of Jesus Christ has saved all of us all once and for all. You still want your blood to be used again to bring a fresh salvation. That means the salvation of Jesus Christ is waste. So it's better you stand up now or you people will perish. It's now or never. Don't allow your daddy Gio to deceive you. If they cannot save the country, man, how much more about you, a puppet, a servant in, in, the, in their business industry? Stand now and stand forever. Thank you very much, Mazi. Thank you, and we must continue. We have friends across the globe to find out. What are they thinking? When they make certain discussions, what are they thinking? Call on the line. I don't know me online. Good morning, sir. Good morning, I'm My, my atomic bomb. Hey, my name is Daddy, I thank you this very morning because of the daily manner you have given to me again. Wagama Rwanda ni mara pu mizu country yo so muchi ni fo la bia fo wagama bambi rom mara pu mizu country yo so ro jojo ni ni la bia fo wagama bambi rom mara pu Nigeria o so ro nambe kano. Rabia fa gama gwandi ro mara po mi zu country so ro jojo ni be la bia fa I am very proud and not to tell my enemies that I have abandoned. I have also abandoned that they are so called stupid people. I have realized this is all to do. Thank you, jojo ni be. Thank you, inchino fa. Thank and the camo, thank you, every other principal officers, those who know the man, the king, whom they are following as Martin and the man. Thank you all. Of you. Because we are all human beings. And before Chucky they create the head, the hands, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the leg, we know the reason why they did so. Some of us are the head, some of us are the legs, some of us are the hands. Some of us are the ears, some of us are the mouth, some of us are the eyes. Show to you, we remain to praise this morning. My brother, it is not a new thing, neither is he a strange thing. To we who knows and know who we are, we can only be fooling those who don't know themselves. Whether Pastor Adeboye or Oyede or whatever they call themselves, who are a king in the kingdom of Illuminati. Who are parenting themselves? If you go to their website, you will know that indeed they are the real satanic pastors. The king what to give life. The king what to give wealth. The king what to give strength. The king not to give hope. But they have come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But according to Shi Utike, the creator of the heavens and the earth, he said war unto them. And to, the full, to their followers. Whether he parade himself, or whether he did what he did, or whether he never did, why didn't he speak out? Is he not a deaf and dumb pastor? Oh, my people, those who still believe in one Nigerian, even before you say, I am a Nigerian, come and see how stupid you are. Then your stupidity will be there. 
The stupidity will come before we do, before we mention that Nigeria. You see how stupid men of God are? They say they don't concern me, it doesn't concern me. But I think you, okay, okay. He that has given the power for our enemies to destroy those who are backing them. Today, whatever he calls himself, think that he has escaped, he never escaped. As soon as he went out to parade himself, he has even introduced himself very, very well, clearly, to the hands of some of his men. <laughs> he should wait his own time. If they can, assistant can be destroyed after the money they raised. Who is he? Is he carrying two heads? The answer is no. I thank you, Kiku. Who made me to know who I am? I thank Mazinam the Kanus, George Onido, which is who has brushed, brushed the stupidity that is in me and that was in me. And today, I can probably say this is who I am. And I thank you, Kiku. Who made, who made James on one? Uh, sorry, who made James on two? Who made James on two? Mazi and Kanaya, aka Madukai Naria. He made it mention to each and every one of us. If you know you are a hypocrite, do not come to our zone. If you know you are still having sure to play, and the game at night you go and serve Nigerian government. Because if you say, I'm, I'm not a saboteur, I'm not a saboteur, but you are going to their church, you are worse than a saboteur. In my zone, the announcement has gone to everybody. If you know you are in Umechen Zone 2, step out from the church. Turn it to step up from the church. You can look for another zone. You want to know who we are. His deputy has been hammering. Zanlem Bakista. He has been hammering. If you know, you know, and you know that you are still going to church. Step out of IPP. Or you can join another place. Because we make him too. We want to do me. Tell them to join the step out of IPOB. I think that is I am, the wrong English to use. Okay, sorry, sir. But let everybody come back to their normal senses and know their goal. And the IPOP, wherever you are, if I have spoken a word that has that is not supposed to be, I am sorry. I apologize. But I'm trying to tell you people, my dear, call your she by his name. Call your she by his name. He said, if a white man say God, he is calling it by his own name and their language. We, we are calling it she uku. We are calling it by our own name. May them deceive you. Do not be deceived. For the battle man has been drawn. They say the war in 1970. That the war has, has not ended in the mind of the politicians. The war has not ended in the mind of governors. The war has not ended in the mind of senators. The war has not ended in the mind of Nigerian animals. That war is still going. In our body they are killing. In our body they are kidnapping. In our body they are still destroying. In our body they are still ripping. I told my I right two weeks ago to last week. What I was after me are doing. They will carry their back their, their, their properties in the name of selling. Immediately your body is scratching their body. Your man will vanish. Uh dear friends, be careful, dear lads. Dear friends, be wise as your father. The king who creates you. Dear friend, be wise. I don't know you. I don't know. I don't want to know who you are. But all I'm telling you, the hand that you have gotten, you have that, that hand that feeds you today. You are bringing him back to destroy your people because you cannot stand to say, "I am a man of God." Who are you governing? Okay, look at it. In the days of old, they said that men of God in evil language they call them Ide Ozozo Atoro. Now, I don't feel Ide Ozozo Atoro, but rather Atoro Nasuzeha. Atoro Nasuzeha. The name of God will go for the weaker ones to raise them up. That today, the name of God are abandoning the weaker ones to the hands of their enemies. And the lions, the wolves, who are flying his men, are eating them up day in and day out. But Shokiki, this morning, bless you, protect you, strengthen you so that you will give you another delicacy in the evening. Strengthen you so that you will give you another food tomorrow morning. In the name of Shokiki, be praised. You are blessed, the You are blessed, Nuno. You are blessed, Nanko. You are blessed, Nafo. Can you go to the Nuno? Zero to the Kamiri. You are not one of my lapapa. You are pretending to be Kamiri. You are not going to see you. You are not going to see you. You are not going to see you. You are not going to Thank you very much. Come on, what's up? Are you still there? Yeah. No, I'm joining you there. Good morning. Good morning. Go ahead. Yeah, my name's uh, Mahazi. My boy is Akuta. 
Amago Jakota is from Amandoba in Isu, LGA, or a province, Biafra land. Mazunibe, may Chuku Kikabiama bless and guide you. Because if someone who stands behind and say, all these things you have been launching, all these things you have been doing, that there's no attack coming to you, that person is, is, is deceiving himself. I know, both physically, spiritually, and otherwise, Nigeria and their evil are attacking you, and both our mass in and the Carlo and Mefo. But they fail to understand one particular thing. They fail to understand one particular thing. I still repeat it. From the day Nigeria government arrest our leader to the day he woke up from the prison, none of the day, each every day, more than 10 million Biafrans will lay prayer upon our leader. They don't know the protection. They don't know the, 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 the fence, the fire surrounding him. So let that fire continue to surrender every IPOB and principal officer working as he does for the restoration of Biafra in mighty name of Chukuku Kikabiyama. So about what we are discussing this morning, Mazi, I understand that each time a member of church have a problem and go to the pastor, pastor will pray and ask him to receive it. And that, past, that brother will go expecting that to receive him expecting what he have received with all faith. But each time a pastor have problem, the members will put hand into their pocket and contribute money to solve pastor's problem. A, 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 a member of a can was killed for this 50 million, just for the sake of 50 million, with the, the Christian's delay. And they, they are there to forget that. I know that a, a one man, a man, called himself pastor and G.O. of a church, is moving with a helicopter worth of 250 billion naira. But this man was killed. The whole Christians in the whole world cannot fast produce 50, 000, 50 million naira for the sake of this man. But somebody can purchase a plane of 250 billion naira. I have seen that there is nothing, Christians are deceiving themselves, and mainly all this Yoruba church. Come to the other side. I, took, I, I take a little time to move around both other states, rivers, and other places. There is something I found out. Do you know that in any place you go, any place you went to, you will see Aosa in every junction. If a tower is in the market, they will be at the middle of the market, at the extra end of the market, at the beginning of the market. If it's in the streets, they will be at the roundabout of the street. If it's the, uh, um, uh, along the road, they will be at the middle of that road doing their business peacefully, doing whatever they are doing peacefully. Wherever you go, you will see our some man with their, uh, what, what they, whatever they call themselves, doing their business either by the side of the market, at the middle of the market, at the junction of the road, at the roundabout of the street, everywhere. None of them you will see that will rent shop. If they want to rent shop, there will be the shop opposite the road or at the strategic places in any place they find themselves. I started to reason what is the meaning of this thing? What are these people doing? What are their plans? But I come into conclusion over what is happening. Each time you have that IPOB is hot, watch around, move around, you must find that also somewhere. Working with some of our God level dear friends to make sure they sabotage what we are doing. But I am happy today because any person, if you give somebody with the left hand, you still collect with your right hand. Whatever. Fulanis are doing whatever they are planning against Biafra. All this whole thing is boomeranging back to them. Because they cannot tell me when the children of Chuko Kikabiyama start on the Federal High Court of Abuja and just lay a curse upon Mohammed Buhari. Then he was alive, I know. To today, where is Buhari? Because he separated our leader from his family. At the same time, Chukwu Kikadama separating him from his family. But people don't understand. And I still have a kind of soft mind over our people, but I don't have it anymore. So what I'm still saying, 
what I'm still saying is this whoever that is involved in sabotaging in sabotaging of our Biafra restoration, that person, his generation must be sabotaged. His lineage must be sabotaged. Mazunibe, continue your work. Any person, any human being, any being born of a woman, no matter who you are, even if you, spirit or angel that say that Biafra, Agage Nwisi, Agi Jisi Ame Biafra Nwisi. Thank you and goodbye from here. <laughs> All right, announcement, announcement, announcement. It's an announcement here. There will be a three-day fasting and prayer for IPOB Biafrans worldwide. From Thursday 6th to the Saturday 8th of February 2020. The theme of the prayers and the fasting is God's intervention during the burial of Mars in and the Kano's parents. Psalm 85. 8 to 9, Psalm 116, 15. On the day one of the fasting, send your angels to secure Biafra land throughout the burial period and beyond. Oh God. Exodus 23, 23. Exodus 32, 2. Numbers 22, 23 dash 31. Joshua 5, 13 dash 14. 2 Kings 19, 32 dash 35. Matthew 26 53 pray that there will be no rain throughout the burial week from 10th to the 16th of february 1 kings 17 1 job 5 12 14 james 5 17 18 isaiah 44 24 27 matthew 16 19 on the day two that's on the seventh that God will incapacitate the army of Nigeria, that they will not be able to disturb or kill the Afrans from now henceforth. Exodus 14, 13, 14, 23, 30, Psalm 35, 1-8, Isaiah 37, 33, 36, Isaiah 49, 24, 26, Jeremiah 10, 25, Jeremiah 30, 16. 2 Yozolians 1 16. B. Pray that God will provide everything needed for the ceremony, even surplus. Numbers 11 21 23. 2 Kings 4 42 44. 2 Kings 7 1 Matthew 14 15 21. Philippines 4 19. On day three, that's on the eighth, pray that the fourteenth February will be will mark the beginning of freedom of the African nation. Esther 9, 1 28. Psalm 11, 1, 1, Psalm 110, 1 16. Psalm 125, 1 5. Psalm 126, 1 4. We thank God for answering our prayer. Psalm 106, 1 12. Psalm 112, 1-10, Psalm 114, 1-18. One can fast according to his or her capacity. Tuko Kika Abiyama, who began the, the good work of the restoration of the Biafra, with Mahas and Nam Bikani, will finish it in our lifetime. He said, he said, he said, it is prepared by evangelists in Europe. So, Kufa, from St. Paul, Yes, of course, we must not forget as we go about our daily and lawful business across the globe. I want you to always ask yourself. I want you to always ask yourself. I want you to always ask yourself. What are they thinking? What are they thinking? Anytime they make any decision, anytime they implement any law, anytime they introduce any program, what do you think they are thinking about you? If you are able to understand what they are thinking, you'll be able to know what they will say next, and that thing they will say, you will be able to predict their action. Nigerians are very pathetic, I must tell you. And having said that, this is where we sign up on this morning segment. We must continue.
sincere appreciation to those of you who were able to call in. Apology to those that cannot take their call now. We'll still be here a few hours from now. Do have a pleasant day ahead of you.